fuel ethanol is generating a revolution in renewable energy that could reduce the world's thirst for oil. In Brazil, the production of ethanol from sugarcane is booming, but what isn't clear is the impact that it's having on the industry's sugarcane cutters. Here's their story. These people are helping to save the world, but most of them don't know about it. It's Saturday night, and the main attraction is the finals of the Cane Cutters football tournament. It's time to enjoy the game and forget about the back injuries, snake bites, heat exhaustion and machete accidents. Problems that affect cutters. Through their work, they're helping the rest of us to breathe cleaner air. Do you know what global warming is? I haven't got the faintest idea. 49-year-old Severino Ramos de Andraja works for Moema Mills, a large agribusiness company in San Paulo State in southeastern Brazil. From sugarcane, the company makes sugar and ethanol alcohol, which partially substitutes for gasoline in Brazil. Less gasoline means reducing the harmful pollution which is changing the world's climate. Did you realize that cane cutters like you are helping to save the planet? I'm very honored to find out about this. But despite his work, Severino and hundreds of thousands of others may end up losing their jobs, ironically due to the success of their industry. I'm getting old and I don't have an alternative. I hope to be able to find work elsewhere. For almost 500 years, Brazilians have worked on harvesting cane. The plant spread in the fertile soil, aided by the hot, humid tropical climate and the slave labor brought over from Africa. Sugarcane was the commodity that was the basis of colonization in Brazil. Tadeu Andraj is a director at the country's leading scientific research and development center. No other country has so much technology related to sugarcane, from producing plant varieties, growing, cutting, transporting, in all the industrial process related to sugar and alcohol production. During the 1970s, Brazil's economy was severely affected by an oil embargo and rising prices. The country's military government launched a national program to reduce its dependency on foreign oil. It encouraged the construction of ethanol plants, offering low interest loans to sugar companies and subsidies to keep the price of fuel low. The automobile industry adapted quickly. The vast majority of vehicles run on a mixture of alcohol and gasoline. With the arrival of flex car engines, you can use either alcohol, gasoline or any mixture of the two. The widespread use of ethanol has made the country a global leader in cutting emissions and oil imports at the same time. With Brazil's technology, ethanol could well become a viable replacement for one of the pillars of the world economy, oil. We are introducing new technologies, new processes and new alternatives. Ricardo Brito Pereira is Moema Mills' director. I believe that ethanol will not only benefit developing countries like Brazil, but rather it will benefit any country that is interested in cleaner types of energy. Increases in world prices of oil, international tensions and an urgent need to address environmental concerns are fueling the rapid expansion of the international market for Brazilian biofuels. During the first six months of 2007, the country's ethanol exports shot up by 70%. The ethanol boom has served Severino well. He lives a reasonably comfortable life and although both his children are handicapped, his insurance covers the cost of their medicines and therapies. Wages have improved and I'm now able to maintain a good standard of living. But this might not always be the case. 
The sugarcane industry employs one million Brazilians. There are some 300,000 cutters in Sao Paulo alone. And now they're at risk of losing their jobs because of changing industry practices. This is the industry's future. Here at Moema Mills, 50% of the sugarcane harvest is already mechanized. The three workers that operate each of these machines can replace 60 cane cutters. The mechanization process is here. It has arrived. It's worrying for us. But cane cutters themselves are human machines. We are the beginning of the entire process. Mechanized cutting is also seen as better for the environment. Traditionally, manual harvesting of sugarcane is aided by burning, which clears the plant's serrated leaves and tops. The burning is carefully controlled, but this wasn't always the case. Fires themselves create pollution, and uncontrolled blazes have led to the destruction of forests and wildlife. State legislators have set a deadline for stopping this practice. By the year 2014, burning will no longer be permitted, and almost all of San Paolo's sugar plantations will shift from manual to mechanized harvesting. This means cane cutters will no longer be needed. There are no guarantees that jobs will be found for each cutter, but there is awareness that mass unemployment could lead to social chaos. We need social stability and we need to create employment. The cutters will be absorbed in our future expansion. This is our responsibility. It's not only up to the government, the unions. We have to be involved. Brazil aims to double its current production of ethanol in 10 years. This might mean more need for farm machinery. Many believe that the conversion of ethanol into a tradable commodity worldwide, as oil is, is crucial for lifting the developing world out of poverty. As for Severino, he aims to avoid unemployment and hopes that the years spent as a cutter will be rewarded. I would like to get a decent pension. I worked hard all my life and I am now longing for a relaxed life for the rest of my days without worrying too much about money. To balance environmental concerns, technological development and the redeployment of hundreds of thousands of cane cutters will be a major challenge for Brazilian society. There's also concern that production of alternative fuels like ethanol will increase the price of staple foods around the world because there will be less land for agriculture. It's a hotly debated topic. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only US network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs that connect you to the world.